Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We give God the glory. We give God the praise for giving us the last Sunday in June. Yadi monya merade yadi aseda ema erade se ode kwesi ada etwato ewo bosumi a emu etwansian ode amayen. We want to thank God that from first Sunday in July we will begin service. We also be having our online service. We bring you greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and also from First Baptist Church, Committee 5, Tema. We want to take this opportunity to thank the media team, to thank their chairman, Eric Koko, to thank their pastor, Reverend Thomas Abedu, from 22nd March, we have been streaming live. We want to thank them. Yabeda, aye, emranti, eni, ekua, aye, media, wamo, ebuwa, ema, uti, mishe, ebe, bia, uwe, yi, nina, ano, yadomwa, se, wamo, chairman, aye, diken, koko, wamo, sofu, sofu, abedu, nyame, enshida, mojumea, wamo, edi, we also want to thank the pastors and their families. Uh, they've also contributed immensely. We want to thank our honorable, honorable Nana Yaudansu. He's been with us through and through to this morning. We also want to thank our music director from day one. He's been with us. We thank the praise team made up of Heras of Praise and the Tabernacle Choir. We want to thank all of you. We also want to thank church members that have been watching us live and have been giving us feedback and helping us and praying for us. God richly, richly bless all of you. We want to thank God for the last Sunday. We want to continue with our teaching on faith. The just shall live by faith. Shall we go to God in prayer? Our Father and our King and our God, we give you the glory, we give you the praise, even for how far you have come with us. Honorable Nanaya Adansu and I, we humble ourselves before your throne and before your majesty. Yes, Lord. And before the many that are watching us. Yes. That you use us to go to speak your word of faith to them. Yes. To speak your word of grace. Yes, Lord. That your spirit of God will stimulate their faith. Yes, Lord. Even as your word come forth mm. in the power of the Holy Ghost. Yes. Once again, we want to thank you Jesus. for the victory that you won on Calvary Cross for us. Yes. You defeated Satan. Yes. Therefore, we hold bound Jesus every name. satanic hand yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. It caused your word to come forth in power. Yes. To heal the sea. Yes. To set the captive free. Yes, Lord. To bring relief mm. to many that are troubled. Yes, Lord. We want to thank you. Yes, Lord. Once again, for your presence yes. that is with us. To minister to us yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, a key scripture that we have been looking at is Habakkuk 2, the verse 4. Out of our trial, you know, so at the affair in Samaria, Chenya, Habakkuk, Kuma, a trim, you know, Shimu, and nine. The just shall live by faith. Your tinny, at the GD, and a better. Behold, his soul which is lifted up is not upright in him, but the just. Shall live by faith. Say now, cry a page and a costrono, one yet in the name, 
We realize that Apostle Paul quoted the same scripture uh, that is probably building on what, what is in the Old Testament and then bringing it forth to us as God's people in the New Testament. Romans 1, the verse 17. So Paul so Roma Woma he says that for therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. He also quoted the same scripture when he was writing to the church in Galatia, the Galatian Christians. Galatians 3, the verse 11. Say, but, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God, it is evident. For the just shall live by faith. Look at the way the writer of Hebrews puts it. Hebrews 10, the verse 10. That should be a concern to us. He said, now the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. And we are looking the just shall live by faith. Beloved, from these scriptures that we've read, faith is to be a lifestyle of the believer or a lifestyle for the Christian. Faith as a lifestyle means you walk by faith in God every day of your life. 365 days a year, regardless of of circumstances. It's important that it becomes our way of life. That is the way God has structured it. He doesn't want it to be a push button like the people of old, the Israelites did. Anytime they run into problem, that is the time they want to call on God. God will not be pleased with us in that but, way. And if it's a way of life, then it also means that the way we walk, we will have to walk according to faith. If we walk according to faith, or we walk by faith, in fact, in 2 Corinthians, uh, 2 Corinthians 5, the verse 7 says that we will walk by faith and not by sight. So if it's a way of life, then you have to leave the realm of the senses. When we say the realm of the senses, we are talking about sight, we are talking about taste, smell, touch, and hearing. And don't you say and in order to walk by faith, you have to leave the realm of the senses. When I talk about the senses, I'm talking about sight, taste, smell, touch, and hearing. Beloved, we intend taking our time for you to understand the subject of faith. It is a, a way of life. That is why in Hebrews 11, it says that, but without faith, it is impossible to please God. 
Na esa ni se eye abrabo a yabone da da ne. Eni tina hudu umani meye tia siye se. Se ye ni jidia. Ye nti min so o nyanko po eni. Any one that comes to God must know that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Se obe ba e radie ni mbiya. Ni obe tuwa na momba e radie ni mbiya. Oso unu nu se wano. Wamua wamu tinechi. Enam kwa mpasu nwenye ame. Eso mwenye 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 mwenye. It must become a way of life. Because that is what guarantees you victory. I was saying, yeah, 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 that, that, bravo. It's an answer. No, no, chile se uon kunimdiye. First John five, the verse four. He said, "But whatsoever is born of God overcometh the world." Yohani, this is a this is a victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. So you realize from this scripture that it's faith that gives us victory. And then Tiashwa Yohani, who made the country numbers chemo nine nine, may Tiashwa say, "Nee ye ye free a rade mu biyano we din kunim." And then Tiashwa say, "Atro ya ne may Tiashwa say, 'Jidiye munte no ye ye kunim di for." Because it's faith that gives us victory. Esa ni say, "Jidiye ne may ye kunim di." Satan will not give you the 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 briefing space. Obon samu ama o kwa impo ema o hume. He will want to attack you. That is why we have spiritual warfare. That is why we have been admonished to fight the good fight of faith. First Timothy 6 to say, fight the good fight of faith. Paul, when he was admonishing Timothy in 2 Timothy 4 7, he said that, look, he says that uh, I have fought the good fight. I have run the race. And I have kept the faith. So the key is I have kept the faith. No, see me kra jidi. Elo inti no safwana na diyesi suni sa ye kra jidi no. Satan will want to attack you. Obo sam de bepeso obo tuwa shaw. He want to attack your faith. Obo sam tu shaw jidi so. That is why it is important that you take your time. You open your heart. You open your spirit. To understand faith. It has come to my heart with so much power and revelation. So that is why Satan will not give you an inch. In Luke 22, 31 and 32, Jesus says something. And the Lord says, Simon, Simon. Satan has desire to have you that he may sift you as wheat. But said, But I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail thee. So when thou had converted, strengthen thy brethren. So the key says, I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail. When you develop your faith as a way of life, it will not be it will not be just a way of getting things, but it will be a way that you can work with the Lord. If your faith is a way of life, then things will take care of themselves. If you focus on getting things, it will not be a way of life. As soon as an obstacle comes, that was what happened to the Israelites. That was what happened to them when they were in the wilderness. It was not a way of life for them. It became a push button. And 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 it became a push As soon as obstacles come, you will be discouraged. You will be ready to be discouraged. You will be ready to throw up your hands. You will be ready to throw up your hands. That is why you have to pay so much attention because we want you to develop your faith gradually. As I told you that we made a lot of mistakes. I saw the error of faith. Some of us start out in a blaze of glory, espousing the message of faith. 
Then all of a sudden, we stopped because we were not receiving anything. Our faith did not measure up to the things that we were believing God for. Let me just give you an example of God's word. When you take First Corinthians, when you take First uh, Peter two, the verse twenty-four, the last part. He says that by his stripes ye were healed. By his stripes ye were healed. Or say, na ne man tabi animu eni yenya yaresa. So this took place, or this has taken place already. It's not going to take place in the future. It is something that is a down deal. It has been sealed and it has been delivered to us by the Lord Jesus Christ. So how do we re 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 receive it? One. By doing it. Two. By believing it. And three. By confessing it. And acting on it. But see, this will come gradually, gradually, gradually. One of the things I intended to teach as I do this series on faith, uh, to teach and to caution when sometimes we want to believe things that do not match up to the measure of faith that is in our heart. So for Sadie Bakua, because what today you're not church, you're fajidi, and we are there back when they say, you're begging your ma, ah, and do your susubia, dear my way, Jidimo. This morning we will want to examine a scripture briefly in 2 Corinthians 2, 2 Corinthians 4, the verse 18. Now the pay a bay and pencil, Muka cry, I will trust the Mukurunto, Metosumi, and no, a trimmy, and no, Chimu, a dunai. When I talk about the Father, we must. If it's a way of life, then we must not walk by it by senses. So Let me again de uh, define what faith is. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. So, yeah, I also said that it is the practical expression of confidence in the Lord. So, for the Tosum, you say, Ayadia, Yadan, the D, Eddie, Gidia, and I, you need us what tomb, El Christum, and also in His Word. I won't yam yasem muso. I also said that it is also the art of believing and acting on the Word of God. Please, if you believe. That is not faith. That is not faith. It becomes faith when you act on what you believe. That is why a lot of us are disappointed. You know why faith works? Faith works because it is God's words. And God's words produces results. If God says that you are healed, you are healed. He's no man that he will lie. He cannot lie. That is what the Bible says. So you have to take your time to begin to believe God in the Bible. And that's what the Bible says. You have to take your time to begin to believe God even for small headache, you begin to believe God. For small pain, you believe to believe, be, be, believe God. For, 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 for when you are feeling bodily pains, and then you begin to act on, on that belief, and you begin to confess. You are gradually burdening your faith. So you will get to a point where you can now begin to believe God, probably for, for, for something that is very serious. Why it is important that you understand faith is that many people believe that when we talk about faith, then we must deny things. Some get confused about faith. Like I said, because of faith, we deny that we, 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 that we have pain when we, 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 we deny that we don't have pain when we have it. 
And when Tianam GD and Tiafa to the Bian, why are the Aquan and Yajatum so we cry the Bian? Or that we are not, we are, we are supposed to deny that our wallet is empty when in actual fact it is empty. And I say, see any Sika, I will go to Kuwa, this Sika, she may share both to me, yeah, because I am Sika, we men, so Sika, nim. So we have the deny syndrome. And then the yawa, ni ebe kana se ye ni biye no. We deny that we are sick. Yeah, yare kwa ebe kasi yare. We deny that we don't have enough money. Si ye ni Sika bibri, ebe kasi ye ni Sika bibri. Beloved, that is not what faith says. And no, enye di ji di eka. Let's go to 2 Corinthians 4, the verse 18. It says, While we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen, for the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen are eternal. He said, why we look not at the things which are seen. So it means that the things which are seen, uh, which are seen exist. But the things that which are not seen, why we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal. So it means that they exist. We don't deny the fact that they exist. But the Bible says that our goal must be on the things which are not seen. Because the things that are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. And then he says, and the things which are seen are temporal. And the things which are not seen are eternal. And then he says, and the things which are not seen are eternal. pain. Faith does not say you do not have a tumor. Faith does not say that you do not have an empty wallet. That is not what faith is saying. Going back to the scripture that we read, it says that why we do not look at the things which are seen. So it means that the things which are seen are rare. They, they are things that confront us. They are things that we see. That tells you that the things which are seen must exist, right? If they did not exist, you could not look at them anyway. Because you cannot see something that does not exist. And God will not tell you not to look at what is not there. The very fact that why he says why we do not look at the things which are seen, it means that the things which are seen do exist. They are there. The pain is there. The tumor is there. The empty wallet is there. The empty bank account is there. The fear is there. But faith is not saying that it is not there. But faith does not look at it. It does not deny it. And put it does it, 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 it just it, it, it does not look at it and shut and does not allow the things seen to detail the terms of our existence. If you are sick, yes, you know that you are sick. Faith knows that you are sick, but faith chooses to ignore the fact that there is pain, even though there is pain. I don't say we are real. Why we do not look at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? What is it that is not seen? With Jesus' stripes, we were healed. That is not seen. That is not seen. That is not seen. And the Bible says that that is eternal. That is everlasting. So what do we look at? What do we look at? We look at the Father, our God, shall supply our need according to riches in glory by Christ Jesus, not according to my, my empty wallet. Faith 
For example, we do not look at the Father. Look, he's not giving us the spirit of fear, but of what? Of power, of love, of summer. So it means that fear exists, but we did not look at it. So we look at what we look at the things we cannot see. And that is what we confess with our mouth. When he says that by stripes we are healed, that took place 2,000 years ago. So that is in past. I mean, that, is, that has taken place. It's in, the, it's in the past 10. So it, it means that, look, it's not now that it's going to take place. It has taken place already. So we are not looking at things that we cannot see. We are looking at things that we cannot see. We are looking at things which are seen. But look at the things which are not seen. Things, for the things which are not seen are temporal. For the things which are seen are temporal. But the things which are not seen are eternal. Beloved, it is important that you understand some of these basic things we are talking about. You see, while we are looking at things that are not seen by senses, it doesn't mean that we are denying our senses. No, they are there. They are there. The danger is real. You are seeing the danger. But faith is saying that, look, the Lord is able to protect me. The Lord is able to deliver me. The Lord will, will, will cause me to run through the troop. And he will cause me to leap over every wall. That is why it is important important that you know God's word. Look, there are two things that this morning as we teach on faith I want to, I want to encourage you to come in is that take your time to study the word of God and through the study of the word of God too revelation will be released to you. Revelation drives what? Faith. That is why revelation is the master of faith. Through meditation we receive the voice that is behind the word of God. While we are confessing, even though the pain is there, even though that which I'm believing God hasn't come, you know what is happening to you as you confess the word of God? You are, your faith is you are generating God's power to be able to, to overcome that which is natural. Look at the way I've captured it. It is causing our faith to generate God's power to such, a ten, to such an extent that it overcomes that which is seen in the natural and wipes it, it out. Do not deny the problem. Do not deny the sickness. What we deny is its authority to dictate the terms of our existence. And that is where many of us are found wanting. That is where many of us, the enemy has attacked us. How do we look at something uh, that is not seen. You look at it with the eye of faith. Look, in the Old Testament, the 12 who were sent to go and spy the land, they came back, 10, 10, gave a very negative report. And two gave a positive result. You see, when they went to the land, they were giant over there. They were giant over there. The land was full of giants. They saw the giant. But the two decided, look, they will see with the eye of God. Because we are told in scripture that when you go to Genesis or when you go to Hebrews 11, it says that by faith they crossed the Red Sea. 
or they walk on dry land. So that is where faith began. That is where they realized that, look, we have to believe this God that we serve. You remember that when the, when the Egyptians came, they got drowned. So when they were even walking on dry land, it was faith. Some beloved, when we are talking about faith, we don't deny the things that are happening to us. We don't deny the, the circumstances that we find ourselves, but we see with the eye of God. And in short of four, see, can you hear some? Ya ko ya bimwa ya unshese or ya u anadi ya ne mu anadi ya ne mum ya di onyango pon eni eni ya di she tebiano. We see with the eye of faith. Onyango pon eni eni ya di she e ya jiri. Why? Because faith is the proof of things not seen. The definition that we gave in Hebrews 11, 1, it says that faith is the substance of things hoped for. And faith is the substance of things hoped for and evidence of things not seen. Things that are not seen. Beloved, faith is synonymous with the word of God. So what does God's word say? What does God's word say? If God says that, look, you are blessed, you are blessed. It's not that now that is going to bless you. Let me give you a scripture in Ephesians 1, the verse 3. He said, look, blessed be the Lord God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with what? With all spiritual blessings in heavenly places. Beloved, it has taken place in the past. I may not have anything in my pocket. I may not have anything in, in my wallet. But Bible says that I have been blessed. And as we begin to believe God, and as we begin to act on His word, He can cause people. To come to bless you. He can open the door for you. Beloved, I said earlier that look, if it becomes a lifestyle, you will make a lot of progress. If it becomes just a faith, oh, I'm raising my faith to get things, you will be disappointed. I saw people preach faith, and all of a sudden they stop. Because because they have not received anything. Their faith has not been grounded. They've not, they've, they've not grown their faith. I pray to God that you will grow your faith. I pray to God that the Spirit of God Himself will bring you a deeper understanding. There are other areas that we will be tackling. Please remember that if you do not have the word, you will not have any faith. And if you do not have the word, you will not know what God's remedies are for the issues of life. Therefore, you have no other choice but to gravitate to what you see. We want to end here and God willing, we will continue. And that will be the first Sunday in July. I'm sure by next week we'll be able to tell you the number of services that will be running. But I promise you, come. We are taking our time to look at the subject of faith. Because Satan has deprived us for far too long. That is why he's fighting us so that we will not enjoy the benefit of faith. I tell you, it has come to my heart with power and revelation. And I believe that as the days go on, the Spirit of God will lead us and help us. But this morning, for those of you who have been listening to us, you have not been born again, you cannot come into faith because you need a measure from the Lord Jesus Christ before you can come 
into faith. So you want to this morning give your life to Jesus Christ so that he can give you the measure of faith. Wherever you are watching us, you want to give your life to Jesus Christ, pray this prayer with us. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross for me. Today, I realize that I am a sinner. Because of my sins, that you are, you die for me. Please forgive me all my sins. Come and live in my heart. Be Lord over my life. Let me be your son, let me be your daughter, so that you be a father to me. I thank you. I thank you for coming to live in my heart and for being born again as a child of God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beloved, wherever you are watching us, if you don't have a church, look for a Bible-believing church to attend. If you want to come and share fellowship with us, this is First Baptist Church, Community 5. We will help you grow your faith. For many of us who have watched us, who know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, beloved, thank God that we have life. When the Lord started ministering to me about this subject of faith, look, there were times I just confessed, I said, Lord, I'm sorry. I sin against you. I have doubted this. I've doubted this. Look, maybe next week when I come, most of us will say, oh, I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God for this. I'm believing God for this. Look, you will never come into it because that is hope. Now, what you so for the run and say, Shall we pray? Father, thank you for this morning. Thank you for your word that has come to your people. Yes. Holy Spirit, it's you who work in us yes. both to will and to do of your pleasures. Yes. Even as your word has come forth, your word of faith, yes. your word, oh God, that builds faith, yes. that stimulates our faith, yes. I ask that you will cause a quickening yes. in people's heart, wherever they are now, yes. in Jesus' name. Amen. You stir their faith yes. in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, we want to thank you yes. that even as your people begin to spend time into your word, let them receive a revelation from you. Yes. Let them receive the inspired voice of God yes. that is behind your word yes. so that it can bring faith to them. Yes. Father, we want to thank you. We want to bless you. Father, as we begin a physical church, this Sunday. Please go ahead of us. Yes. Let your presence be so much with us. Yes. That which we have experienced in past. Let God let it be more glorious. Yes. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, Lord. Once again we want to thank you. Because you have been so good to us. May your name be praised forever. Yes. In Jesus name. Mm. Amen. Amen. Wherever you are. Just, just rise up and then raise up your hand. And let's receive benediction from the Lord, please. Wherever you are watching us from. Now the God of faith visit you afresh. Amen. The God who visited Abraham and turned his faith around. The God who saved Paul yes. and imparted so much faith into his spirit yes. that he is teaching us faith. May that God do the same thing to you. Amen. May that God visit you. Yes. May that God cause his word to come through in your life. Yes. May that God open supernatural door for you. Yes. May that God favor you and favor your home. Amen. May that God bless you beyond measure. Amen. May that God continue to be with you. Amen. Now and forever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We will come back to you. God willing, the first Sunday in July, we hope to see some of you physically. You've been worshiping with us. You don't have a church. Uh, come.
come and you will experience the love of God. God bless you and keep you and cause the week to be a good week for you. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.